What comes to mind when I say the word gravity? Maybe space shuttles? Roller coasters? Apples? All of this is good, but what people usually don't think about is gravity's impact on biological processes, and that's the focus of the field of bioastronautics. Take the circulatory system for example. It's almost like a sewage system for our body, removing dirty water or deoxygenated blood from our organs and replacing it with fresh water or oxygenated blood instead. Because blood has to act against the downward force of gravity to move to our upper organs from our lower body, our circulatory system uses something called vasoconstriction, which is where the muscles within our blood vessel walls contract to narrow the vessel and pump the blood upwards. It's like putting your finger on a pipe of water. The more force you exert with your finger, the more force with which the water moves. Similarly, your muscles exert more force to move your blood upwards, which increases the force with which your blood moves through your vessels, also known as blood pressure. So how does this relate to space travel? When an astronaut first enters outer space, they experience something called puffy face chicken leg syndrome. Yes, you heard me. Because space lacks much gravity, our circulatory system realizes that we no longer need strong vasoconstriction to push our blood upwards since there's nothing pulling down on our blood. The lack of gravity causes blood and other fluids from our lower body to travel to our upper body causing our legs to lose fluid and look skinnier, and our face to gain more fluid and look more puffier. Your heart realizes that it now has an abundance of available blood conveniently next to it, so it takes in this extra blood and pumps it to other organs. However, this is more blood than your heart can handle all at once, causing your heart's chambers to stretch beyond their comfort. This stretching activates receptors called baroreceptors responsible for regulating blood pressure, which sense that something is wrong and help with the release of protein messengers that tell your blood to release some of its fluid into the interstitial space. This causes the amount of blood in the astronaut's body to reduce significantly. This blood loss results in something called orthostatic intolerance, a condition where astronauts experience nausea, dizziness, lightheadedness, and more when trying to stand upright. When astronauts attempt to land the space shuttle, these symptoms can prevent them from being alert enough to operate the machinery necessary for a safe landing. However, to reduce the symptoms' effects, scientists have found that two hours of daily strength and aerobic exercise, as well as blood pressure medications and improved spacesuits, can help with increasing fluid volume and circulation. With bioastronautics, scientists have discovered that gravity might play a role in worsening heart conditions, specifically by compressing the heart when patients are lying face up. With discoveries like these being made, scientists are understanding more about heart diseases, paving the way towards more potential cures. It's clear that as we explore more frontiers billions of miles away, we're also learning more about our own physiology right here on Earth. Thank you for watching.